Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blade and Soul Alpha discussion with Furuwar. Okay, so I am playing right now, but there's a few things that I want to get off my chest. Um, there's a lot of things that are just twisting my nipples in the Alpha. Um, for one, the bag system. Um, you can, in your inventory, you can only unlock one bag row with actual in-game currency. I know in the Blade and Soul Russia and the Blade and Soul China versions, I believe the China version is the same as the Russian version, um, you can unlock like two or three rows. So this means that if you're wanting to get really far into the game to where you're having all this crap in your bags, you're going to have to spend real money on it. Um, now that's not necessarily a horrible thing, I'm not sure how much it's going to cost to unlock these slots, but, um, there's also in your bank, you can unlock only two slots, two rows, but that, that's kind of aggravating to me. Um, then you also have the quests. Oh, let's not... Oh, the quests. Okay, so there's some beginning quests missing in the alpha. I hope they fix this in the beta, the closed beta. Um, you don't get the one that shows you how to repair. Um, that's in the very starting area. And <clears throat> then you also don't get the ones later on that show you how to um, enhance or upgrade your weapon in stages and you don't get the one that shows you how to do your um, shields or pies or however you want to call them um, you don't get to show they don't show you how to do salvaging they don't show you how to do anything like that um, at least in the alpha I'm not sure if they're going to add that into the closed beta or not. I hope they do, because that's a really important part for new players to learn. Um, then there's also a quest. The quest that is shows you how to socket gems. Okay, they have that quest in here. However, they don't give you a gem to do the quest like they do in the Korean and the Japanese versions or any other version. They usually give you a gem to do the quest and I think that the reward is usually getting a gem. Um, but yeah, that's really aggravating because you can't do any, you can't do that quest unless you purchase one off of the um, market. So yeah, that's 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 one of my major issues that I have with the alpha right now. It's really um it it's really twisting my nipples. Oh boy. Like you guys have no clue how much that actually aggravates me. Um There's already people greedy. It's the Fucking alpha for Christ's sakes. There's no reason for greed in the alpha. You're gonna lose everything you have. Um, why why are you guys being why are people being greedy in the alpha? They should throw up stuff for the very minimum that they can throw it up. That way people can all progress in this um alpha and make the game better. And there's people throwing up freaking tri triangle gems for the price that you would see in like the Korean and Japanese versions. It's like, how do you expect pe people to be um, paying for that in an alpha to where everybody's starting out from scratch? Um, so I definitely foresee greed being a huge being a huge factor in this 
Um, also, for Blade Masters, when you're in draw stance, your um, charge ability does not give you any um, does not give you any chi back. That is another issue that I have. I like getting my chi back, damn it. I and mean, oh, it's just I don't know, there's there's something about this that is really starting to aggravate me and I just want to beat some of these people in. Yeah, you know, beat their heads in. Make them think about what they're doing. Um for like the whole um not giving you a gem for the quest when you're first starting out. How do you expect us to complete that gem quest if you don't give us a gem to socket it? Um, nobody's going to have gems starting out. It's supposed to be an introduction to gems. Showing you how to do gem socketing for when you actually receive one. Um, but other than that, the game's been really, the game's been really good. It's been, I, I can't complain about the other aspects of the game. The other aspects of the game have been done really well and I really enjoy it. I do. I, I've always loved Blade and Soul and I always will, but there's, there's some things that they need to fix already. Um, and I hope that they look at this video. I hope that they, um, Look at this video and see what's going on in the game and that they try and fix it. Oh, the whole premium system. The premium system is amazing. I, I won't lie, it's really amazing. Um, I, I like how they um, have it set up with the bonuses. However, that being said, it's also going to give premium members a high advantage and stuff, even though they said that it wouldn't be giving people an advantage. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not sure how the, um, es how far the essence of Black Worm is in the game, but, um, to be able to get hexagonal gems that have attack power and other stats, especially for like your citron and your um, sapphire gems, <clears throat> that that gives people an advantage having that additional attack power. Um, And being able to, um, you're able to get some stuff as premium members that you can't get as a free-to-play member. Whoops, wrong button. I'm going into the, um, Hung Moon store right now. On um, premium. Okay, there's nothing in the premium, premium shop that's only premiums right now. Um, but yeah, in that actual, um premium members store being able to buy the um blue keys yeah there everything in there is untradeable so when you get it you can't um you can't trade it to people you can't sell it so that that's at least a good thing they're keeping it to where they're not going to um have people selling stuff on the market that you can get as a premium member but it's also giving those premium members an unfair dis an unfair advantage, which is what they said they wouldn't be doing. Um, so yeah, that's 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 another issue that I have. So <clears throat> yeah, that's that's what I have to say on that. Um, there's still some voice acting in the game that they haven't done um, fully. There's some beginning quests missing, like repair tutorial 
and salvage in tutorials the gem socket quest gives you no gem to complete the quest with so it's impossible for new players to do okay that's 193 characters they don't give me enough to really really hammer into them on this um i really wanted to let them know exactly how i felt about it but that's almost impossible since they don't give you enough to oh bargain fragment patch contains a gem thank you it, well, it doesn't contain a gem. It contains gem fragments, so I can make a gem. A fabulous! Um, so I'm going to go back down there right now and do finish this quest. Oh, that was so aggravating. That didn't give me a gem right away to do it. They're supposed to give you a gem from the quest itself. I'm trying to get to the crafting area to see if they have the crafting set up or not and how well they have it set up if they do have it set up um, there's also another thing that I noticed there isn't in the alpha there isn't an intermediate um, intermediate uh, god what, it, what am I thinking You go directly from the Hung Moon Sword to the Awakened Light Sword, so there is nothing in between right now. There isn't that intermediate step to where you're um, doing your whole weapon upgrade or anything like that, so... Thank you. Thank you. Now that I... 200 experience. Is that really all you gave me? For all of that... Hassle. You gave me 200 experience. I'm going to murder your soul. So basically... Um, through the... Um, God. Through the crafting... The way that the um, evolving and everything is set up in the game right now, um, green weapons are going to be absolutely worthless with the way that everything is set up at the moment. I'm not saying that they're going to be worthless when it comes to the beta and actually release because I'm sure that they're going to put back into effect the um, having to fully upgrade all of your stuff. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. I'm going to continue playing for a little bit more, but I don't really have anything else to say. Um, it, there's nothing else really to say at the moment until I get to the crafting system. So thank you, everybody, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Please, I need it. <laughs> I've never done this set before!